Today I want to share with you my recipe for a lentil and orzo soup with spring veggies. Absolutely delicious, or so they tell me. I'm not the biggest fan of lentils, so I'm taking one for the team today. So to start us off, I'm just going to coarsely chop an onion. And by the way, uh, this is a vegan soup, so it's suitable for vegan diets as well as Lent. And it's super flavorful because I like the profile of this soup. All right, perfect. I'm going to do about a third of a cup of my Greek extra virgin olive oil. I love going heavy on the olive oil. I think it gives it an excellent uh, flavor. And just get your onions in there. All right, moving right along, along with our onion, I'm going to take two cloves of garlic for this. And again, I'm just going to slice it up. You can use a garlic crusher if you like, no big deal at all. All right, perfect. Nice, healthy slices of garlic I'm going to go in. At this point, we're going to season our soup as well. We've got a little pepper. I'm going to go into this. I'm going to use some salt. Perfect. I always use in my soups red chili flakes. You can leave this step out. I enjoy it as much as you like, or you can not put any at all. That is totally fine too. And this is pretty well the start of most uh, Greek style uh, dishes or soups. It always starts with onion and garlic. Next to go in, I've washed a couple of carrots. I'm not going to peel them. I figure, you know what, it's fine just uh, giving them a good wash and you're ready to go. And for this, again, very rustic, you know, you can put any kind of chunks you like. You can cut these in half. You can dice these. I'm keeping it simple. I'm just lopping them like that. So two carrots going to go in here. And as these cook down, they're going to sweeten our soup as well. And along with this, I'm going to be using a couple of celery stalks. Get rid of this. Looks a little ratty. Don't have to use that. And again, same deal. Perfect. That's going to go in. So now, to add to this story, this is a very, very simple recipe. I'm going to be adding one zucchini. And for this, all I'm going to do is cut it down the middle. And again, bite-sized pieces, whatever you like. Put it in like that. Perfect. Now, let these cook for about five or six minutes, so that way they can kind of soften up and release their flavors. The next uh, thing, or the next step in this, is a little roasted red pepper paste. I absolutely love this. I put about, in this probably close to a full teaspoon, as much as I got. I'm probably going to empty this one out, so I got a solid teaspoon in there, which I absolutely love this stuff. You can get harissa, you can get uh, Raja Nu, you can get any kind of kind of uh, flavor paste will absolutely uh, hit the mark with this recipe here. Along with this, I'm going to do a handful. So a handful, I guess, is what? Half a cup of orzo will go into this. Mm, yeah, something like that. Perfect. And those will add some starchiness to, to our soup. So let's just stir that around. And already, once our paste, our pepper paste, hit the heat, boom, it was like a flavor explosion. Now, the star of the show, I'm using a can of lentils. You can use the dry lentils if you like. It just makes it a whole hell of a lot easier. One little kicker 
when you're cooking with lentils is a little red wine vinegar. And for this I'm talking like literally a teaspoon. You don't need more than that. It is going to be that background hit of acidity. It is going to be like such a refreshing uh, little, uh, almost like a, a splash of brilliance, if you will. And four cups of water will go into this. And that, my friends, is my soup. What am I going to do now? Simply bring this up to a boil, reduce heat, and simmer for about 25 to 30 minutes or until my veggies are done. Basically, the hardest thing in here is the carrot. So as soon as your carrot becomes fork tender, your soup is ready. All right, so my soup is ready to go. It took about 30 minutes to simmer and look how beautiful it became. The orzo has cooked right through our veggies, our carrot, the zucchini is fork tender, which is exactly what we want, and it smells really good. So, I invite you to try this. I will not. <laughs> I just have this thing with, uh, with lentils. We don't go that good, but I thought you would really enjoy uh, this vegan soup recipe. Very easy to prepare. <laughs> ready in no time in like 30 minutes you've got a soup that tastes like it was simmering all day and you can feed a crowd so that's it for this episode on my uh, lentil and orzo soup with the spring veggies in it you got all kinds of healthy goodness in there very delicious and you can make this with your kids it's a great family recipe i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please hit that like button and consider subscribing for this recipe and many others, check me out online as well at kensgreektable.com. And until next time, keep cooking, stay safe, much love from me. Bye for now.